Hello friends, in this session I'm going to take up one more very important question of normalization. <clears throat> so in this question as well we have a relational, uh, relational schema with uh, six attributes A to F and we have its functional dependency set mentioned over here. So the first step is again in order to find out the highest normal form of any relational schema the first step is always always to find out the primary key. So we are going to find the primary key. Now how do we find the primary key? Um, you can start up with finding the closures of the left hand side of the attributes. So we start by finding the closures of these. So uh, I find the closure of AB. AB's closure gives me all the attributes of my relational schema, hence it is a primary key. Then again I find the closure of C. In case you do not know how to find the closures, I've already made a separate video on it. So you can please go back uh, and view that video in the same playlist. So herein I'm just going to discuss the concept of how we find the highest normal form of any relational schema. So I find the closure of C and I get to know that this is not a primary key. Why is it so? So it is because B is not there in this closure set. Hence, this is not a primary key. Now, if I let's suppose if I add B to this closure set, then obviously this becomes a primary key. Hence, I also have BC plus with me. So BC is another primary key or I can say it is another candidate key for me. So again, I find out the closure of E and I get to know that this is also not a primary key. But now what if I add B over here? Now, how do I know that I have to add B over here since there are many attributes which are missing over here? So I know that A is already present in this closure set. And if I add B, I'll be able to get AB, which is already a primary key. Hence, adding B to this will lead me to AB, which will lead me to all the attributes. Therefore, EB is another primary key. So, if I just find out its closure, I get to know, yes, I verify that all the attributes are present over here. Hence, EB is another primary key. So, this is another shortcut technique. I've already discussed this shortcut techniques concept in my previous video session. So, you can please go through it once. The uh, idea is basically you just add on those attributes which help you getting the primary key or uh, help you to able to reach the attributes which eventually result in forming the primary key right so you can get a, a better clarification when you view that previous sessions video because i have discussed that concept in really great detail in that session okay so then we come to f if i find f's closure this is also not a primary key but again i have a over here so if i add b to it i'll be able to get fb and the entire set of attributes in this set so this also becomes my primary key so that means if i find my prime attributes they are a b c e f so only d is remaining d is not a prime attribute and my primary keys are a b b c e b and f b so next step second step is to check the highest normal form so we start with it now so the left hand side or the uh, yes the left hand side the first column contains the normal forms starting with bcnf at the top and the right hand side now contains the columns of your functional dependencies now if you want you can also split this functional dependency into two parts so this can be c goes to d and c goes to e or you can analyze it as it is in a combined form so I'll be analyzing it in the combined form itself. So let's start with it. Now, AB over here is the primary key. Hence, this is in BCNF. So I'll just tick mark all the rows below it because if it is in BCNF, it will be in all the lower forms as well. So now if I check this one, C is not a primary key. Hence, this is not in BCNF. I'll put a cross over here. Now let me check it for 3NF. 3NF says either the left hand side should be a primary key or the right hand side should be the one containing all the prime attributes. Now E is no doubt a prime attribute but D is not a prime attribute hence this functional dependency is not in 3NF as well but this is only because of C goes to D as the sub, part, a sub functional dependency. So if you would 
be analyzing it individually you would say c goes to e has no problem but c goes to d is not allowing you to put it in 3nf it is transitive dependency okay so therefore this is not in 3nf if you want you can just uh, you know uh, just leave analyzing these functional dependencies because if one of the functional dependency is not in 3nf you're not concerned about the others because the entire relational schema is not in 3nf and you need to find out the highest normal form for the entire relational schema but nevertheless since we are just practicing it and i need to explain the concept so i'll be analyzing all the functional dependencies so let's move on to e goes to f now e is also not a candidate key or a super key therefore uh, this is not in bcnf i put a cross over here now i analyze it further for 3nf when analyzing for 3nf i get to know that the right hand side is containing my prime attribute hence this is in 3nf this is not transitive dependency so next i move on to this one again f is not a primary key but the right hand side is my prime attribute hence this is also in 3nf if it is in 3nf it will be satisfying 2nf as well so i put a tick over here now let's come back to this now this said that this is not in 3nf let me check if it is in 2nf or not so for checking for 2nf we need to find out we need to check if this functional dependency is not a partial dependency right so if it is a partial dependency or not so in case it is a partial dependency this would not be in 2nf as well so how do we check for partial dependency the concept is idea is the left hand side should not be a proper subset of any of the primary uh, keys and the right hand side uh, so the proper subset of any primary key should not point to a non-prime attribute so if i need to check if c is the proper subset of any primary key no it is not a, a subset of any primary key right or is it so let me check my primary keys first so my primary keys are a b b c f b right so b c is a primary key and c is a proper subset of b c hence if this is a primary keys uh, proper subset now i need to check if the right hand side is a non prime attribute or not so yes d is a non prime attribute hence c goes to d becomes a partial dependency now if a partial dependency is existing this relational schema cannot be in 2nf hence it is also not in 2nf so then what is the highest normal form of this relational schema it is 1nf now how can i say it is in 1nf because none of the uh, because over here since the values are not uh, present in this example so we can just assume that all the values are atomic there is no multi valued attribute existing over here hence we would say that this relational schema is having the highest normal form as 1nf so uh, that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to take up the topic of recoverability i'm going to discuss the various levels of recoverability and various uh, schedules classified on that manner so see you all in next session and till then please doing hard uh, keep doing hard work and stay tuned to the channel thank you